guys. I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown of how our Idaho trip went. We decided for that first week that we're gonna be there that we're gonna help my brother try to get a deer because he didn't get a he didn't end up getting a elk tag. So first four or five days we um, seen a lot of deer. Um, as y'all saw, we had that really good stock on that one buck. Um, he unfortunately missed it, but that was a successful stock, if you want to say. Um, oh yeah. After that, uh, we went driving around, and we found a nice mule deer buck that had vel that was still in velvet, and we didn't get as, we didn't get it on him as good as we did with the whitetail, but um, we still had two opportunities to kill him though but he was just too far away. And we found a good herd on the, on the, around the area that we were hunting. And we had a really good stock on one of the first days. Um, couldn't get close to them. There's a, they were with a lot of cows, so it made it hard to um, get on them. Call them in. Call them in. in. Yeah, they were with a lot of cows, so you, the calling game didn't really work. After that day, or might have been two days after that day, um, we had a really good opportunity that morning. We found the elk. They were in a field, and we we got we snuck right be up to the side of them, gotten some good trees. Um, the herd bull was going crazy. There was multiple other bulls, not as big, but still big. And my dad broke off to the right, to try to get this one uh, this one nicer bull and a smaller bull. And I watched the main um, the main herd bull and either they smelled us or something happened we end up getting we didn't end up getting one that day and that was our best chance but it didn't work out but yeah that's how it went uh, we're heading home right now we're gonna stop not too far away and see if we can't find any antelope and if we do we will we'll get some tags and try to fill them all right guys we um after a little bit more driving we made some calls and we met this guy and he, uh, he's gonna let us he's letting us this land try to get some antelope um we're set up above a watering hole right now there's watering holes across the property because it's so so big and dry there she is um we've seen several antelope driving around um seen some deer um i'd say we get one tonight or tomorrow morning so we'll keep you all updated and let you know we'll let, let you all know when we see one
freaking head went all far back. Is that like getting good? I might have far back. I don't know. He's bleeding. He's going down. He's go. He's trying to go down. He's trying to go down. You got him good. Oh, go down. Go down, baby. Go down. Come on. He's bleeding. Was he angled? I don't know. I didn't even know how far it was. I just used my second pin. I had to freaking cast, man. He's going down. I don't know if I hit him far back or not. I don't you hit him a little far back. I seen the blood coming out. You went past the room. Where'd he go? He's still there. He put his head down. Where's he at? Where's he at? Is that him right there? He's done. His head's down. He's done. <laughs> it sounded like you hit him. I can tell. Him. Oh, there's still more coming. How do you feel, Saul? Feel pretty good. Go get this sucker. Just make her. I think you're gonna push it. second pin which is 30 yards. Was he on the other side of the road here? I think so. Right? Yeah, if you guessed right, look at that pin. Oh, he's on that sucker. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful animal. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, he oh. died right next to that cactus right there. Look at that. Oh. You know what it did? I hit him on that side. It passed all the way through. He was at an angle. You see that, that angle? Okay. Kind of like the buck I shot in Wisconsin. Yeah, pick pick him up right here. Let me get a good shot at him. That was freaking amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I keep looking at myself. I keep take the camera off of him. He's so pretty. Oh, she's got some dang mass on him, doesn't he? 
yeah yeah he's a nice buck in my my opinion he's way bigger than that one that was over here gosh look at the look at the, the cart look at that gosh God, look how sharp that curves oh yeah that's a and that's a trophy salmon it's a freaking awesome. stud it's freaking awesome holy crap we got it done got it done all that work man beautiful animal there's a lot more rough than I, than I would think it would be dirty on him a little bit beautiful <sighs> a lot of cactus in here isn't there I say we get a good picture of you Hey guys, here it is, November, November, September, what is it, Saul, 21st? September 21st here in yeah. Wyoming, northeast Wyoming, trying to fill a buck tag, antelope buck tag, um, just got in the blind here, might be a little bit for anything comes in, because it's kind of cool and they're coming to this watering hole when it gets a little bit warmer. I wanted to dedicate this hunt to my uncle, Colin Smith. He passed away this morning. Um, fantastic man. Um, uh, lover of Christ, guitar player, and he was a hunter and fisherman himself. And So this book, hopefully if we get today, will be dedicated to him. And I uh, guess we'll just see what happens. Is he rubbing? Yeah. That's awesome. He was fishing. See that other buck right there? Oh, Look at that. Oh, buck. he's the one you want to get right there. He's a monster. Look at him. Take my jacket off. Wow. You might want to start getting ready. They come this way. You might want to start getting ready. Take my jacket off.
think his prongs are as good as Holly's, but he's taller than Holly's. But he don't have the mass. But he's bigger than me. Holy crap! As for you, Colin, and you, Dad, love you guys. We got two antelope in Wyoming in what, two hunts. Make sure he doesn't get up. Beautiful day. Thank you, God. Was he a nice one, Saul, compared to the other one? Oh, yeah. I thought you shot the smaller one. I mean, I wouldn't be mad, but... Oh, man. Look where I hit him. He in the back, and it came through him. Look. Oh, oh. Straight past him. Oh, yeah. You see that? Yeah. Go ahead and get next to him. Go ahead and look up his... His horns are here. Oh, yeah. Sure. That's freaking, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's a monster. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> Look how tall that is, guys. They're hard to tell how tall they are sometimes. I mean, that is massive. That's a big buck, isn't it? Yeah, there's a shot right there, the second one. Yeah, he was done. I just shot him really low, the first shot. Gosh, look at this beautiful antelope. That's awesome. <laughs> Gosh, look at the hooks on that sucker. Look where I hit him. See, that wasn't a bad shot. No, it wasn't. I wonder if you hit one lung or something. I don't know. Because he was acting like he was done. That was, was the, that was the exit hole. See, I just hit him a little low. Right behind that shoulder, look at that. Yeah, he wasn't going anywhere. See, I thought that was a good shot. I was surprised he was still alive. I don't know. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. They have a smell to them. It's different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's different than a deer. Exodus Broadheads, brought to you by Exodus Broadheads, Leopold Optics, Onyx Maps, GoHunt.com, Sitka, Kuyu, and Toyota. Mm -hmm.